Wow, what a beautiful dance. This dancer is blissfully spinning and tracing a circle. Even the moon dances around the earth in a similar way. However, an interesting thing about how the moon actually moves around the earth is that it always has one of its sides facing the earth, while its other side is always hidden. This hidden side is called the dark side of the moon. Nobody on earth can see the dark side of the moon. Interesting, right? But how does the moon hide its dark side from the earth? Moon's dance has two types of movements. It spins on its own axis, it's what we call rotation. And it also moves around the earth, a movement we call the revolution. Okay, let's understand this by making this teddy bear go around this apple. Notice that when the teddy bear takes a full circle around the apple, it faces the apple multiple times. And sometimes its back faces the apple and sometimes the side. If there was an ant sitting on top of the apple, it would have been able to see the teddy bear's face many times during one revolution. But we on Earth can see only one side of the moon. To unravel this mystery, let's give our teddy some new moves. Let's try a move in which the teddy does not rotate, but only moves in a circle or revolves around the apple. To be sure that the teddy is not spinning around itself, let me put a small stick in his hands. If the stick changes its direction, it means that the teddy is rotating. But if it stays in the same direction, we can be absolutely sure that there is no spinning. Observe carefully to see where the teddy is facing while it revolves around the apple without rotating or spinning. Ha! Did you see that? Even when it's not spinning, it ends up showing all of its sides to the apple. This means that if the moon were only revolving around the earth and not rotating on its own axis, all of its sides would still be visible from the earth. So, if the teddy bear shows all of its sides to the apple, whether it is spinning or it is not, then what type of motion helps the moon hide its dark side from the earth? Well, the moon rotates and revolves in a very specific way. And let's see how that works with the teddy. Let's try making the teddy trace a circle around the apple while facing it at all times. When it is moving in this way, notice the stick. Voila! The stick is actually turning in all directions. This means that as the teddy revolves around the apple, it is rotating, but the rotation is very slow and not just randomly slow. It rotates exactly one time while tracing one circle around the apple. And this is the trick used by the moon. The moon takes nearly the same time to complete one rotation around its own axis as it takes to complete one entire revolution around the Earth, about 27 days. This way, one of its sides is always facing the Earth, while the other one is always hidden. Now, come to think of it, our Earth is much bigger than the moon. So can the moon really hide its dark side from the Earth? Here's a surprise for you. The moon does not do this alone. The Earth is pulling the moon towards itself in such a way that this one side cannot move away from the Earth. Let me explain. The moon behaves somewhat like this popsicle. If I lift it up and let it go, what happens? It comes back to its original position. Similarly, when the moon tries to rotate so as to face away from the Earth, Earth's gravity pulls it back. 
but the popsicle gets pulled back because it's heavier on one side. But our moon, on the other hand, looks perfectly spherical, right? Wrong! Our moon is not perfectly spherical. Earth attracts the near side of the moon more than the farther side. Over the years, this attraction has caused the moon to become oblong in shape. This makes the Earth pull it back whenever it tries to face away from the Earth. Let's continue our conversation on the moon. The speed at which the moon rotates is not a coincidence. If it rotates faster, such that its nearer side starts to face away, Earth's attraction slows it down, locking the rotation to a speed such that it never faces away. So it's not really the moon hiding its dark side from the Earth. It's the Earth not letting the nearer side move away. It's like the apple has a mysterious power to pull this teddy towards itself. Hey, but do you know that even the teddy pulls the apple towards itself? <laughs> well, even the moon attracts the Earth. Can you tell me what effect the moon's attraction has on the Earth? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more such fun and interesting videos, download Baiju's The Learning App.